also um, the other functions and benefits from ginger besides it being a spice. So this morning I have Dr. Mary uh, Day Zanga from the Rufika Health Center on the couch to talk to us about the health benefits of ginger. Good morning to you, yeah, Doc. Good, good, morning. good to have you once again on a Thursday morning. Yeah. You're looking lovely. Thank yes. You. Today we are looking at ginger. How will you describe ginger? Yeah, um, ginger, uh, with the botanical name, we call it uh, the zinzibar officinale. That's the botanical name. That's a jaw-breaking name, eh? Yeah, <laughs> zinzibar officinale. Yes. It's a universal medicine. It's not only a spice. It's a medicine. But in Africa, we think ginger is only mm -hmm. a spice. It's not a spice. It's a, it's a medicine. Ginger has a lot of medicinal properties, mm -hmm. right? We use ginger to treat fibroid. Fibroid? Yeah. Ginger has the ability to shrink fibroid. Okay. And we know that fibroid is as a result of excess estrogen in the system. Mm. That's how fibroid develops. So what ginger, when I consume like two to three grams of ginger every morning as a woman, the, the ginger makes sure that I have a good hormonal balance. balance. Okay. So there's no way that I'll have excess estrogen. So when I don't have excess estrogen, I don't feed the fibroid. So every month you see the fibroid shrinking. It's dropped from my menses every month. And so if you're a woman and you consume like two to three grams of ginger every, every, single morning, day. every morning, every morning, every morning, if you have fibroid, the ginger will shrink the fibroid naturally. And most women don't know about this. Okay. Yeah. Is there a particular reason why you say you have to consume it in the morning? Can it be any other time of the day? You can consume it any other time of the day, but in the morning, it, it works early in the morning. After, when you wake up without brushing your teeth and you take the ginger, it works in the morning. Without brushing your yeah. teeth? Because we have some enzymes that help. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, and ginger also has another property, right? Uh, it helps with morning sickness, with nausea. Mm -hmm. Like if you're a pregnant woman and you experience morning sickness, vomiting and all those things, mm -hmm. when you just make a ginger tea and take it in the morning, it stops nausea and the vomiting. Okay. And, and ginger too also help with those who have uh, muzzle pains and all those things. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's really have anti-inflammatory property, mm. which is very good for arthritis. Those who experience severe arthritis, mm -hmm. those who consume ginger every morning reduce about 30% of the arthritis mm. pain compared to those who don't take ginger. Okay. And it has a powerful antibiotic property compared to uh, ampicillin. Very powerful. That fight against bacteria and all, all kind of infection. Okay. Yeah. Then ginger also help with the men, mm -hmm. right? With the men, with the aphrodisiac property, because mm -hmm. it help with the good circulation of blood to all parts of the body. So it help with, with them with the. Good so it does what garlic does for the men. It but does same. Yeah, but ginger does more. Oh. Okay. Ginger does more. Okay. And uh, cancer cells cannot stop, cannot stand the presence of ginger. Cancer cells because ginger has the anti-cancer property. So when I consume ginger every morning, there's no way that I'll develop cancer. And even if you have cancer, cancer, ginger has the ability to stop the cancer cells from spreading. Mm -hmm. It has the ability, and it's used a mechanism called the apoptosis, the cancer cells suicide. So they end up committing suicide. So at the end of the day, you get rid of the cancer. So in treatment for cans uh, for cancers, do they recommend ginger? With alternative medicine, we recommend mm -hmm. ginger because of the, the okay. mechanism that it has. Okay. Then ginger also helps to lose weight. To mm -hmm. lose weight. If you want to lose weight, we add ginger with lemon with honey early in the morning. But that, that um, ginger with lemon and honey, it's also used to um, deal with colds. Yes. Is that not true? Yes. Okay. So with the weight loss, ginger has mm -hmm. something called a thermogenic property. Okay. Yeah, with the thermogenic, when you talk about thermogenic, it's a medicine that has the ability to heat up mm -hmm. metabolism. Okay. So when I take in ginger right now, it goes into the system to heat up the, the metabolism, to heat up the organs to work. Okay. So without doing it, and burning fat, so I don't have too much fat stored up in my, in my body. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's some of the things ginger does. Okay. So can everybody take in ginger? Children, adults, everybody? Yeah, everybody can take ginger, even with pregnant women. Mm -hmm. But ginger is not recommended for people who have uh, powers, who are bleeding, okay. because it's, it melts blood circulation, good circulation. So okay. if you're having powers and you consume ginger, it's no good for you, because you bleed more. Okay. But you if can, you're having can you, powers... Can you really um, 
repeat that, emphasize that, the, the yeah. pals. Yeah, yes. they have some, they have serious pals that they bleed. They really bleed through their anus. So without, with those people, we don't recommend ginger for them because ginger melts the blood. It helps with circulation of blood and things, so they will bleed more. Okay. So we don't recommend, but if you have pals and you are not bleeding, we recommend ginger for you. Okay. Yeah, it's good for the pregnant women to mm -hmm. when you wake up and you feel morning sickness, you want to vomit. You if you can just take ginger, then you are good to go. Okay. Then we use ginger to treat a lot of conditions, a lot of sickness, mm -hmm. like people with serious menstrual pains. Women during the end of the month, we have serious menstrual cramps and all those things. Consuming ginger every day helps okay. to release the menstrual pains. Con okay. Yeah. So we are talking about ginger today, and it's just a normal ginger you find in the market, and it's not so expensive. It's not expensive at all, so it has a lot of benefits. And for pregnant women, you, you just had what the doctor said. It does a lot for you, for morning sickness, for those with cancers and everything. So if we have such medicine around, which is not expensive, why are we not really, you know, taking advantage of that? You know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it does also does um, lower the blood pressure. Okay. Yeah, and also prevent clotting. So if I have any blood clots in my system, immediately I take ginger. It helps to melt all those clots, preventing heart attack. Heart attack. Mm -hmm. Then with the lipid lowering action, too, it has a property called the gingerol, which okay. helps to lower blood blood sugar. Mm -hmm. So it's very good for type two diabetes. Okay. Very 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 good for them. Okay. So when we take in, uh, ginger in excess, can it have any adverse effect on us? No, no it doesn't have any You recommend it two to three two two grams, grams a day. Every morning. Every morning. If you take be beyond that, more than that. It's, if you don't want to lose weight and you take more than that, then it means you are going to lose weight. Okay. Yeah. You are going to lose weight because okay. it helps to burn fat. Okay. So but it won't give you any health. No, it won't give you any side effects. Okay. But if you don't want to lose, so we have a way of doing it. Mm -hmm. If you want to lose weight, it means you have to go for in for more ginger to help you to lose weight. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to lose weight and you are using it to prevent sickness or other things, then it means you have to reduce the dosage. Okay. But if you, I, I know sometimes we use ginger for um, drinks. Add them to uh, to other add ginger to other stuff to make smoothies and all that. Is it good? It's very good. It's very good. Okay. Yeah, you can combine ginger with other things, mm -hmm. with a lot of things. You can even combine ginger with uh, cinnamon. You can combine ginger with honey. Mm -hmm. You can combine ginger with cucumber. You can combine it with a with lot of things anything. with mango smoothies and all those things, okay. which is very good. Okay. Is it better um, taking raw or cooked? It's better taking it raw for medicinal properties. Okay. Yeah. And, and just crush it in the morning. Okay. Like tea, doing your normal tea, mm -hmm. just soak it and it should release the, uh, the, the compound called the ginseng. Okay. Yeah. You know, in our part of the world, especially in, in Ghana, when we want to use ginger, uh, we, we peel off the skin. Elsewhere, it's um, blended even with the skin and used. What do you suggest we do with it? With the skin, everything about ginger is medicinal. So we don't peel off the skin. Okay. You just crush it. Or if you have dirt and things on it, you just wash it very well. Okay. Then you crush it and use it. Okay. Because the skin and everything is medicinal. Okay. So we should start using the, the, the skin yes. if you're yes. not already yes. using it. Okay. Yes. What else do we need to know about this wonderful spice and medicine called ginger? Yeah. Um, it's a lot of manganese, uh, manganese okay. which play a very important role in our mm -hmm. fertility with our sperm production, with our sexual drive. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of women and men who don't have feelings. I like that who don't have feelings. don't have feelings. <laughs> I met some, someone and said, I don't have feelings. Nothing trigger me. We have people who their hormones are really dead. We have a lot of women who complain. They don't have emotional feelings. So when you consume ginger, it stirs up your feelings mm -hmm. because of the manganese. And you know that when you have, you have a manganese deficiency, mm -hmm. you have issue with fertility. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of people out uh, there who are looking for the fruit of the womb as a result of low manganese deficiency. So when you consume ginger every morning, it, it boosts up your fertility. Mm -hmm. It okay. really boosts up your fertility as a man and the woman. woman. Help with a good sperm production. Okay. Give you feelings. Yeah. I like that. I like how you're stressing on that. So those of us who are having infertility issues, you know, this is a natural medicine for us to use or for you to use. So uh, you, you should start considering that, okay? Right. 
I, I'm enjoying the, 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 the discussion. Because yeah, it's, it's, it's very right. important because uh, <laughs> someone will say, like, with a Ghanaian woman, if you marry a beautiful woman, if someone marry you like this and they buy everything for you and the person is not able to satisfy you, there's a question mark. There's a question mark. Yeah, that's course. why of late we have a lot of people using ginger for uh, aphrodisiac medicine and all those mm. things because of the manganese, which is very important. Okay. And it contains a lot of vitamin C that okay. helps with the immune mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. It boosts the immune system. So if you always experience cold, cough, and all those things, mm -hmm. it's very, 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 very good for you to use ginger. Okay. Because we have a lot of people, every month they have to get cold. Every month they yes. have to go get yes. cold. When yes. you consume ginger, it boosts up your immune system for it to be active. To be very active. Okay. So um, if there's um, someone watching us this morning and they're thinking, okay, uh, ginger... Okay, I've heard about the benefits, but when I take it, it's too, um, should I say harsh on the tongue for me? I can't really do that. How will you, um, or what will you suggest for such a person? How can they take it without feeling that? Um, so you can mix it with lemon, lemon, with a little bit of honey, okay. which is okay. very good. Okay, yeah. and if you're trying to avoid the honey, <laughs> then you have molasses that you can also use. You can use yeah, that. Molasses. Okay which is very good for people with hypertension and diabetes. Okay, okay. Wow, it does have all of these then, things. Then for appetite too, when okay. you go to the shop, you see people grinding yes, ginger, yeah, yeah. it gives appetite. Yeah, it yes. gives appetite. It makes sure like you're able to eat well. So with those men, when you go, they go out, they, they want to consume more fufu, so you see them grinding ginger. Oh, so they can avoid the alcohol and go for oh, ginger yes. when they go to the job. Yeah, because when you take alcohol, you get side effects. Yes. And people are using ginger for alcohol and all those things. Mm. But when you take ginger raw, it boosts, it gives you appetite. Okay. Because it helps with digestion. Your mm -hmm. digestion and everything is on track. Mm -hmm. Everything is very on track. Okay. Yeah. So for our men, when you go to the job, guys, it's better to take the ginger to boost your appetite, you know, instead of taking the alcohol. It's good stuff. Right. Okay, so we have just about a minute or two to go. Your final um, advice to us before we you leave know, us this morning. What I will say is ginger is, is a medicinal thing, mm -hmm. so everybody should consume ginger. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to get anything to do with cancer, mm -hmm. if you don't want to get anything with arthritis, bone pains, and all those things, when you stress yourself too much, ginger mm -hmm. is the best remedy for you. Okay. Because it doesn't give any side effects, and it's a natural medicine. <laughs>